Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class, the Test English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Eight. Its title is Vegetable Kingdom. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of grammar, we are going to learn about simple past tense. Before this, I have already taught you simple present tense on page number 26 of your book. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And now we are going to learn further to identify and use the structure of simple past tense for completed action with or without mention of specific time. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al-Baqarah verse 93, They said, we hear and we disobey. Astaghfirullah. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. Because this is one of the sign of disbelievers that they don't obey. They say, yes, we hear, but we will not follow. Astaghfirullah. So, beta, one of the sign of believer is they listen and they follow. So, inshallah, we, we listen. We listen all the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will try our le level best to follow each of them. Right? So, my dear students, now look at this. They said, this verb, this is verb. And it is telling us this action has already been done. They have done it. This is done. How do we find it? And how do we do it? We will learn today. Okay. So, first you tell me, what do you know about sentence structure? And what do you know about simple present tense? Sentence structure, remember I have taught you yesterday and uh, present tense already we have learned. So, pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you have answered correctly that before passing to the sentence structure, let's find out time. This is a time which has gone. Every one of you have been crawling when you were little kid. Yes, so the time which has gone, that is known as past. All right. This is your present. You are studying in grade three. This is your present. And... This is your future when you will be growing up, you will be studying in high schools. So, this is your future. So, basically, beta, we divide time in three parts, past, present, future, right? And this sentence structure, I taught you three sentence structure yesterday. One of them was subject, verb, object, SVO pattern. So, beta, out of this sentence structure, first, what is subject? The one who does the verb and what is verb? The action itself and what is object? The one who receives the verb, the receiver of action. Now, this part, subject and object, they are fixed part. We cannot change them. Only verb is the part of the sentence which identifies, which tells about time. Look at this sentence. I eat an apple. I is subject, eat is verb, and apple is object. And now you tell me, which tense is this? Yes, it's simple present tense. How do we find out? Because this verb is in its first form, eat. We know in simple present tense, we use first form of verb. Now, what happens if this verb, how we have to modify? Because verb is an action word. And it refers to time. It refers to time. It tells us it's present or it's past or it's future. So today, because we are going to study about simple past tense, so how do we make it? What the simple past tense mean? The past indefinite or simple past, both are same. Also known as simple past tense is used to indicate a finished or completed action or task that happened in the past. What does it mean? Something 
which has already happened or done. There can be identification mention of time, there cannot be mention of time in both situation, a time, a task, an action which has been completed in gone time, past time is known as simple past tense. Okay? For example, if you visited a hill station, now you have gone there, you have visited, if you are describing either in speaking or writing which tense should you use? Simple past because this is a task, this is an action which you have already completed. You understand? This is the implementation of this tense. So, the past tense tells us about the event that happened some time ago. And we use a second form of action word means verb in them, right? As we have discussed in simple present, we use first form and in simple past, we will use second form of verb. So, what will be the sentence structure? Same subject, verb and object and in simple present, past tense we will use second form of verb and how do we do it? I help others, this is my habit, I help others. Now this is first form of verb, right? And here what is the sentence structure? I is subject, help is verb and others is object. And because looking at this verb, it is first form, so which tense it is? It is simple person. Now, to, because I cannot change this subject, I cannot change this object, only this part is there which we can change. So, that change is the tense. I, now to make it simple past, what I have to do? I have to use a second form of verb and how do we make second form of verb? With most of the action, we add ed, help is verb and when I add ed, it becomes helped and it is second form of verb. So, when you read this sentence, I helped others, you will simply find out it is a simple past tense because second form of verb has been used, right? And if even you want to mention, I help others some time ago, so it is simple past tense you will use in speaking and in writing. Again, the sentence for the same sentence structure, I work hard, which tense it is? Look at the verb, it's first form, it's simple past tense, simple present tense, sorry. And if you want to make a simple past, what you will do? You will add, you will make verb, you will convert verb in second form and to make a second form, what you have to do? You will add ed. I worked hard, simple past tense, right? Do you understand? This is how if it is your habitual action, you will use simple present tense and if you, the task has been completed, you will use simple past tense, right? Okay, now let us practice it from your book. What does it say? Past tense tells us about the event that happened some time ago and its examples are she arrived at the airport. It means she has completed the task, she arrived and this second form of verb is telling us this is past tense. I dropped the plate, oops, I dropped and plate is broken unfortunately. Now look at this, dropped, second form of verb, it's the simple past tense. Do you understand? So, beta, whenever you want to tell or write about things or events which has been completed, done, we'll use simple past tense. That's it, right? Okay. So, are you clear with the concept? Let's practice it through an activity. What we are going to do? Your teacher is going to divide the board into two sections. The, then she will write usually on one section, on the top of one section and yesterday on the top of the other section. In the usually section, you will write typical daily activities. For example, I offer fajr at 5 a.m. Alhamdulillah, it is my routine. Every day I offer fajr at 5 a.m. And for yesterday, for the same sentence, you will write it. It is past form means I offered fajr at 5 a.m. yesterday. Okay. So, this is how you are going to complete this activity. Pause the video, enjoy this beautiful activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now, settle down, practice it from your book. What you have to do? 
choose the correct form of verb to fill in the blanks. Now, be careful. This is a paragraph. Two forms of verb are given in parentheses. You have to select the correct one to complete this paragraph. Pause the video, complete this paragraph in your book and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now, it's time for your homework. You will write 10 sentences using past form verbs means action words and here is a worksheet my dear fellow teachers i have given two worksheets one is for the vocabulary of simple past action words means past verbs and the other is for the practice of simple past sentences so these worksheets are attached you may take the print and give a printed worksheet to students for practice and my dear students first you will complete it you will write the past form of all the action words given over here and you will use second form of verb to complete the sentences because we are supposed to complete it by using simple past tense all right so what we have learned today we learned the structure of simple past tense and we also learned the use of past tense with or without specific of specification of time so we achieved our SLO to identify and use the structure of simple past tense for completed action with or without mention of specific time. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.